An elder with a Jehovah's Witness church is now out on bond after being arrested for allegedly sexually abusing children 30 years ago. 74-year-old Ronald Lawrence's bond was set at $50,000. Tulsa Channel 8 was the only station there as he left the Pittsburgh County Jail this afternoon. Channel 8's Caitlin Alexander has a reaction from an attorney representing one of the victims. As Ronald Lawrence left jail on a $50,000 bond, we tried to get his side of this unspeakable story. Mr. Lawrence, do you have anything to say? An elder in Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses, charged with 19 counts of sexually abusing four children, two boys, two girls, at the time aged between 7 and 13. Only thing is... These allegations... Uh, stemmed from approximately 30 years ago. The Pittsburgh County District Attorney says the statute of limitations allows the charges to stand any time within 12 years of when someone reports a crime. Court documents accused Lawrence of fondling the children, sometimes in baths or pools, even violating one with a wooden spoon. Mark Edwards, the lawyer of one of the victims, tells us over the phone his client was just a girl when she was first abused. Her family was active in the church, and it took until now to come forward to police. I think one big thing was she found out that there were other victims, and I think that gave her the courage to come forward in hopes that it would also to help the other people as well. Edward says the church was fully aware of what his client went through, and that might be a part of their lawsuit. Court documents show the church disfellowshipped Lawrence years ago when word of his conduct got out. He reportedly told police he admitted to the wrongdoing to get back in. But now, court documents show he denies most of the abuse. But when speaking about one of the girls said, it may have been on purpose, I touched her. When all this stuff comes back up, they are having to relive all these issues over and over. McAllister police tell us it's possible that there are more victims. Edward says also it's likely he'll have another alleged victim as a client very soon. In McAllister, Caitlin Alexander, Tulsa's Channel 8. We reached out to McAllister's Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses for comment have not yet heard back.